sixth episode of Puck Witches, a vibe-based podcast where we yap about all things hockey. Today is October 26th, 2024, and I'm your host, Saint, and this is my partner in crime, Champ. Champ, how you doing? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, sounds great. Yep. Uh, as always, we have a lot to talk about this episode. Not anything in particular. We're just going to be yapping today. Um, but before we start, we just want to thank everyone so much for their support. It's been legitimately heartwarming. Mm -hmm. um, every single view, comment, like, and subscription just means the world to us. So thank you guys for everything. But we're here for a good time, not a long time. So let's get going with today's episode. Saint. Mm -hmm. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Our teams played Fuck against... you. <laughs> <laughs> just fuck you. <laughs> Uh, oh okay so that's gonna be the mood for this week's yeah, episode listen i'm not uh so our teams played against each other last night they did pens versus oilers i didn't witness a single second because i was out having a social life because it's the month of october and it's the only month they have a social life yeah it's a, and been, then it's been a weird month for us you yeah. been social i've been social it never happens. Never happens. Won't be happening much further uh, <laughs> for the rest of the year until February when we go to Boston and Florida. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so but what have you been I up turned, to? You know, um, you know, I got. <laughs> I was at work. Oh no! And I'm strong, right? Yeah, sure. Like okay. I, I like it, like you. Je we jest, but like legitimately, everyone goes, "Oh, you're stronger than I thought." Like because they'll ask me to lift something heavy mm -hmm. or like, "Do you need help with that?" And I just lift it like it's nothing. And so I'm legitimately a little stronger than people expect. So I'm lifting this heavy object at work and yeah. I had it. All right. But when I lifted it to put it up on a shelf, cause it was tall, it bumped into a crossbar. Oh no. And a piece of it fell off and whacked me in uh, the head. Oh. And like, like well, it was my mouth actually it hit my canine which is the one tooth i care about yeah. because i have a sharp pointy canine yeah. teeth and so i'm like no don't touch my canines don't touch my sure. canines me and sid crosby both have vampire or had Thanks. i should say um and so i was like please and also i can't afford a dentist bill <laughs> like please <don't." laughs> it hurts so fucking bad and then i was like okay nothing's loose nothing's cracked like it just i whacked it you know yeah and then I could feel it. And you know when you get a bruise mm -hmm. that hurts so bad, it's like you're scared you're going to get, like, it's swelling? Yeah. That's what I was. I was like, man, I'm going to have, like, a lump. Nope. Um, it really hurt. It wasn't swelling. It didn't have a bad bruise yeah. until I went to put on my lip stain last night. And, you know, when you have to, like, pucker your lips so you can, yep. like, make sure you get all the... I looked and it was the same color as my oh, vivid no. purple lips. Oh no! <laughs> On the inside of my mouth. So you have a blood bruise. It's like a, it is a nasty fucking bruise. On the inside, and then today, I like woke up and like looked in the mirror, and it is, it's not <laughs> terrible. It just looks like I have like a touch of like purple, like very like bruise purple uh -huh. on my upper lip. And so it doesn't look that bad until it's you look at the inside and then it's like oh shit like you know when you you pull back your lip and it's like deep fucking bruise yeah, yeah, it yeah. doesn't really hurt that bad but like it's enough to cause you annoyance <laughs> yeah it was enough that i was like <sighs> just it really fucking hurt i don't know i don't know how hockey players can throw down you know we... i think you just get blinded by the rage. adrenaline rage and then like the crowd and screaming i think that's what and they just hit they just hit hard. Yeah. Um, because I, I can... would take a hit and I'd be crying in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> and I have um, a high pain tolerance. Like, I've got a sig significantly high pain tolerance. Yeah. Um, as women, we have both pretty yeah. pretty high pain tolerances. I've noticed my pain tolerance has not gone down as I've gotten older, but, like... You're more likely to complain? I just... <laughs> I, I can't tough it out. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I get yeah. bitchy. I'm like, fuck you. I'm in agony. 
you know, I, I'm just nastier. Than well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but to be fair, you were, I, I, we, we talked about your, uh, your mouth for a bit and you were like, oh, it's no big deal. It's just fucking embarrassing. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and I can just imagine you scowling, which does not help the blood bruise at all. Yeah. So. Oh, I look like such a bitch. Like, um. <laughs> yeah, you could just in there. Yeah. Well, I mean, always, but like <laughs> specifically, you're gonna move. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, uh, I think it's because our my team won last night. I, I'm hitting you while you're down. <laughs> Oh my god, is this because last weekend I was on fire yeah. and I was just a psychopath yeah. the whole podcast? It's um, fine. It's so fine. <laughs> it's so fine. But yeah, like, I, we did talk about that where I was like, what is it about minor injuries that mm-hmm. just like, I, no, I'm fine. Like, you know how in the movies you're like, man, you should have just told somebody that you hurt. I am that asshole yeah. that would be like, no, I'm fine. And I'm like bleeding out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, I don't want to be. You absolutely would be that an inconvenience so like if i'm complaining there's a problem <laughs> it, it is actually like a minor inconvenience like just to be annoying but if i'm like an uh, injury yeah it's like oh shit <laughs> like i'm the farm you know how there's that joke and it's not a joke because it's real of, like if a farmer comes into the ER, yes you know it's serious yes. that's me yep exactly uh, same. Hundred percent. Like my wife made me go in, and eh, fine. I needed to come in. Oh, holy shit! Yeah, like, yeah. Um, but then you also got to go to a fun hayride. It's a farmer stand, technically. Okay. It's not the actual farm, right? It's like this little, like basically a cabin, uh-huh. like a large, huge. It's not huge, but it's like a big cabin. And then they own part of, like, this forested area. Oh, okay. And so they have a cute little hayride for the kids. Aww. It was actually pretty legit um, this year. They, like, must have invested in it over the season. summer or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, over the season. Because it was always, like, just a fun, cute little thing for, like, the kids. But this year, they, like, every inch of the forest It looked was really covered. cool. Yeah. Like, you saw uh, the Snapchats. Yeah. And, like, it was... It's obviously not scary. It's meant for kids. Like, you know, but before it was, I mean, Alec will tell you because he went on it. Um, It wasn't like, it was about, I want to say like, they added like a third, you know uh-huh. what I mean? Like more, if not like every inch of it was lined up. It was also $15. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Which was a little pricey. It used to be like 10 <laughs> 12 i mean the okay economy. if they're gonna invest in it then that's fine you know yeah well that was the thing is i think they were like we have to raise the price we have to invest like they that one pumpkin that like came out of the ground like yeah that was really cool you know um but it sucks because like if you're a large family you can't go you know what i mean like it used to be yeah let's all go on the hayride because yeah. it's only you know five eight bucks i think if you go during the day it's less money they they raise the price for the nighttime pumpkin rides yeah um yeah, Aww. then they have, like, the, like, huge thing full of pumpkins in it. Uh, and I got a red velvet cookie, okay. which was really good. <laughs> and they had kettle corn and hot apple cider. So, so full bought. fall full fall vibes. It was it, it is full fall vibes. And it doesn't take long. You're not there for, like, six no. hours. It's like we got there at, like, 6.30, got kettle corn. You st- spent half of it in line shooting the shit. Yeah. And, like, we got to go pet the little goats and things like Aww. that. They had the animal. I know. It was so cute. Uh, uh Whereas you went to a cute little fun event, I <laughs> I went to an actual haunted house for the first time in years. Like we, so for my bachelorette trip, you and I and our group of friends went to um, Bush Gardens Williamsburg for their scare, which was very fun, very fun, very fun, very very fun. Um, really good, really well done. Uh. I liked the, the our favorite one to bring up was the witch the witchy one which of course because we're night witches but also because um my favorite line of all time happened in that which was the we ran into some dude in the middle of the the <laughs> witch woods and he goes mommy and saint went i'm sorry and he looked at me <laughs> looked down at my chest which was Looking fine. Because it was it was Halloween. You're allowed. It was Halloween. And I was dressed up. I wasn't even that slutty, though. But, like, it 
you know, I had cleavage. Yeah. And he looked down at my chest and then looked up at me and went, Mommy? And I went, I'm sorry? <laughs> and he, very defeated, went, sorry. And, like, yeah. backed off into the... It was the entire... It was the meme, but it was you. I have never seen you both livid and also so humored in my entire life. Yeah, because it was like... I was like... Because he wasn't... It's one of those things where any other time... Yeah. I would have been like, who the fuck yeah, yeah, do yeah. you think you're talking <laughs> But because of the delivery and the fact that he seemed shocked that he said yeah, it. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Like, he looked like, oh. <laughs> that, those words this came out of my woman. mouth. <laughs> that wasn't in just my brain. <laughs> like, I, I mean, tell. we quote that. I mean, it's obviously something that is... Uh, a, a like TikTok, it's a, it's a it's, meme. It's a meme, but it means something so different to our friend group, and it's so funny. But <laughs> we, so Austin, my husband, and I went to uh, this haunted house. It was his choice; he wanted to go. And I'm not good with horror game, like horror aesthetic. Um, I am. You're so funny because you are. Yeah, but you're not. I'll I'll do not. it, but it's like it, it, if all else fails, I'd rather be the cottagecore bitch than the horror bitch. Which Mm -hmm. is so funny because, again, I play all of the horror games. I'll throw myself off the horror edge. Um, But it's not... You don't like watching horror movies either. I don't, no. And and this is very funny to me. I'll I'll, I'll cycle back to that. Um, So we go to this haunted house. And I'm nervous because I've never been to a haunted house in Boston. And what I realize in the... Now, I've known him for 12 years. What I realize standing in line with him there is that he's never been to a haunted house. What? Uh huh. He's been to like haunted forests and stuff, but he had never been to a haunted house. And I've gone to several. Uh, like again, I'm not a, necessarily a horror bitch, but I'm. I'll go. Like that is that's bread and butter to me. That's a Halloween thing you do. You do it every year. And so I was like, I'll go. Yeah, we'll do it. We're sitting in line. I'm nervous because I'm getting antsy. And he goes, Yeah, I've never been to a haunted house. And I'm like. Never mind. This is the greatest thing we've ever done together. Because now I know he is going to be scared out of his mind. And he was. I did not get scared any in this haunted house because I was laughing so hard I was crying, Saint. I have I have legitimately not laughed that hard since probably Vegas. Yeah, like you have to that's the thing is a good haunted trip like when we when we went to uh, the haunted hayride yes. and the haunted corn maze, it wasn't I laughed more than I screamed. Yeah. Because your reaction after being like jump scared or to see, like I was evil laughing because Shelly was with us. Yeah. And I like, she kept getting scared and scaring herself. Yeah. So like it was setting me into like Giggles. hysterics. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I was like hysterical. It was just so funny. I, well, he, the thing we also learned was that his first reaction is not a uh, fight, which for you and I, it very much is. Yeah. His mine first is- reaction is flee and <laughs> not, not flight flee. not flee, not flight flee there was one point where i started like we were going through the haunted house and i see out of the corner of my eye the jump scare and i'm like okay there's the jump scare i know it's coming yeah because yeah, you know it's coming well yes and austin has no perception <laughs> At all. No, no awareness. <laughs> no awareness at all of this guy walking up behind him. So I, of course, do not say a single thing. <laughs> and this <laughs> this man walks up behind him. And you can see Austin take like a breath because he thinks we're safe. And I'm about to like burst into tears from laughing so hard. Because again, still trying to keep the jump scare hidden. And the guy scares him. I, I I turn around. Austin is gone. <laughs> I have never laughed harder. And the poor girl who had jump scared him turned to, to me and goes, he ran. <laughs> I was just like, he she knows. Ran. Do, do you think she like realized that like in a horror, like you're going to be yes. posted on Reddit and being like, my husband abandoned me when a serial killer, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like that Rick and Morty clip yep. where like the, the husband is like running away and leaving the wife. To deal with. <laughs> like, <laughs> see, the, here's the difference is I think that's freaking hilarious because, yeah. you know, his first instinct to run is probably the right one because yes, it, it, it's correct. It's the correct one. Um, And I will never fault somebody for doing 
like what their instinct tells them. Uh, yeah, fear, fear makes you. I I try not to judge people no, on their not at fear all. because you you either have learned to override it, yep, or it's your natural instinct. And there's monkey brain and sane brain are not the same. Yeah, brain. yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, like they're so, just so he runs off. I'm in tears laughing so hard and he comes back and he's like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry while i am crying laughing so we that was the that was my favorite part of the the thing while we were walking out of the actual haunted house the haunted house is done we walk around the corner and he's like still antsy and i'm like what's wrong with you like we're it's done uh yeah, really really like, well done really well done haunted house by the way i was like still it's over we're okay we just have to walk to our car yeah like there, nobody is like nobody's gonna come around the corner it's over you. as soon it's as over. i said that a clown walks around the corner <laughs> and he disappears and i was like you know what my bad um so yeah i i highly recommend dragging your friends and family to haunted houses. <laughs> uh, I also found, learned something about myself that I had forgotten um, is that when I'm in nervous situations, I just start making sarcastic comments about yep. everything. So yeah. at some point I started to take the lead because I'm, you know, I did, I get scared. I will not deny, but I can handle it better. And so I take the lead. Austin is behind me. <laughs> And I walk into a room and I'm like, oh, that's neat. Look at that, Austin. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Pointing out <laughs> stuff to keep myself calm, to make sarcastic yeah. comments. I'm like, oh, look at all the blood on the ground. And this lady jump scares me. And I said, I, I don't even remember what I said, but I got jump scared. And Austin ran, of course. And so I was just like, if we were in a survival situation, I would be dead because all I keep doing is looking at something and just making the snarkiest comment. And so That's so real. It you is. Know? <laughs> I it was like movie theater esque script. Not even intentionally. It was just I kept going and saying shit and going, this is how I would die. Um, but here's the thing, Sam. Simply would not simply, simply would not, would be, not in be in that situation. <laughs> simply would not be simply would in that not situation. be in that situation at all. Like Literally, we just simply wouldn't be no, in that situation. Not at all. It it's can't be. the the only exception that I have personally found sure. is that like I will go for a hike in the woods. Not You're fucking crazy on a like. What do you mean? Not like, a full moon. Not in a new well, moon. Not, not at night. But like it. Not no. Not at night. Okay, That's good. just you're stupid. <laughs> yeah. But like to be fair, so we've talked about this a little bit. Mm -hmm. But like I truly am amazed that I did not get lost in the woods and die as a child. Oh my like, God. I used to, have we talked about this in the podcast? I don't, I don't think remember. So. I don't, maybe not. I don't think so. Um, where like, as a kid, I used to like, cause again, we were a, a vacation family. Like we yeah. would go to like, you know, we went down to Tennessee and panned for mm -hmm. gold. You know what I yep. mean? Like, and so we would go stay at cabins and things like that. And they were, my parents were big on doing, they weren't as big on the cities. They were very big on taking us to like touristy areas. And I'm and fine like, with that. I think that's fine. It's yeah. Family. And going camping. And yeah. And they would do museums and things like that too. Yeah. But like they wanted to travel and very big on like national parks and things like that, which I'm, I, as an adult, I appreciate because yeah. it let me see a lot of cool shit. But the point is, is that I, again, this was the nineties, early 2000s. <laughs> oh God. No cell phones. Um, <laughs> My mother is very overprotective in so many ways. And for some reason was completely fine with just letting me wander oh, the woods. Oh, God. And I'd be like, I'm going to go for a walk down the creek. And she's like, okay, just stay on the creek. And so that's what I did. And I walked one time for like oh, no. two hours. I was not old. I was a kid. Like I was like, I think 10 or 11. Oh, my God. And I just walked down this creek because, and that was the thing, what kept me safe was you were staying was the, on the path. I was staying on a creek. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There was no way any, like, all I had to do was walk straight in a line. Yep. And then walk straight back. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, that's, so that's what that's I did. Fine. Like, many times. Um, But had I been stupid and wandered off, I was, I would have a goner. Yeah. And these were well-marked areas and things like that. Like, we were in the middle of, like, the fuck it. Like, we did go to the Smoky Mountains, Gatlinburg, and yeah, all that. Like, yeah. we were in other wooded areas but we weren't in like the rocky mountains now, we were in appalachia a lot which honestly again i was about to say as somebody who know, lives in appalachia uh we probably spent a lot of time in appalachia. 
probably more dangerous. These mountains are old. Mm hmm. Um, and they're just uh, un. Like, people underrate yes. how difficult traveling... Like, there's a reason, like, yeah. the Appalachian Trail is kind of a big deal to accomplish. Yeah. It's not all, oh, you're just walking it. No, it has... It, it's pretty rough. My dad's walked you know? parts of the Appalachian Trail. Um, and, he, I mean, he was an experienced hiker and would come home and he would need, like, two weeks of recovery time. Yeah. I don't know how I've people do a full... The full thing? Yeah, no. That's insane. I don't... I don't think I'd want to do the full I thing. I would, I would do, but like we we're going to our local state park um, next weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, and we're going to go cause it's fall here. So it's like, the you're actually getting leaves. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Do you not really? We do. We, th this season, this year we did okay. um, a couple of years, a couple of the past years, we usually get hit by the hurricanes and then uh, all the so leaves then are gone. Dies all, the leaves are all, the leaves. all the leaves are brown. All the leaves are brown. All the leaves are brown. For us, it was, it's, it's beautiful. Like yeah. it, like this year, especially because it was like warm and then cool and then warm and then cool. Like yeah. it's like everything, all of the trees are like on fire, like bright yellows Perfect. and nice oranges and like deep reds, lots of yellows, a couple browns, but like it's, we're, I think it's peak week this week. I so think we'll so. be going I think it's post. peak week for us too. Yeah. I think it's like, this is the end of the peak. So we'll be like a week late. So hopefully it won't be as crowded but like yeah. we we're we're not idiots like we go on marked trails we're not going for like a seven hour hike we don't hike at night you know nothing wrong with any of that it's just like i'm a woman and unless i have a gun with me i'm not <laughs> doing that um, you know and we also don't have natural predators this far. we do have bears and things say, like that but it's black bears and not where i am you like, can just pet them it's fine yeah i've got uh, a black bear I that wouldn't. lives in my house it's fine uh-huh <laughs> i think that's a cat no that have you seen wrong. him he's a bear he is a little bear um that anyways that would be my situation like but again i'm not an idiot so yeah. i wouldn't be i i something spooky would first of all i would be in a group yeah always <laughs> if i'm not in a group and something spooky happens I'd have a phone. Yeah. I'm over prepared to the point of like problematic. It con <laughs> it con yeah, it concerns people when they see the contents of my purse yep. mm -hmm. or my car. Yep. Because I was raised by a parent who lived in a time where nothing was prepared. Yeah. And he survived. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah. so he always and my grandma too, they would tell me these horror stories of things that happened. And I'm like, well, <laughs> can't let that happen to me. Nope. <laughs> like it just simply won't be me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so other than that, my week was pretty smooth. Uh, not much going on in my life other than, um, two very different hockey games. Um, yeah. you didn't happen to see this week's Oilers games at all, which is fine. I haven't seen live hockey in like, who are you? What have you done? I know, I'm upset. Well, because what happened is, is the pens went on a road trip. Yeah. And it's all so over. All over of the, yeah. They're over. Yeah. The... It was fucking nine 30 at night. I caught the first period of the jets game oh. and turned it off and said, there's no way was it. Was it just, no, it, it was, was the flames it, game. It, oh, flames game. It was the flames game. And I was like, maybe we can. And then apparently it was like a big roller coaster. And we so, almost, that's the thing about the pens. They give you false hope. I, so I watched both games. This week, I watched both teams play both games. Uh, so on Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever it was, I had to suffer through the Oilers. We mm -hmm. had the two. We were playing um, the Canes. Good team. They're a really good team this year. Um, they're solid. They're you know boring. what I mean? Okay. They are boring, but they're solid. Um, and... They were losing to like we were we were winning. We can't we had a two point lead and then they came back. Of course they did. Um Skinner was on fire. I've never seen him that locked in. Uh except for last night. But even then, like with with the ones he was doing, the goalie, uh the Oilers goalie, Stuart Skinner, was kicking ass and nobody was helping him. And so that was disgusting. <laughs> Um, and then we lost in overtime with six seconds left on the clock. That was, I saw that, like, I woke up to that and I went, oh, fuck. I, because, like, there's nothing more elating for someone who is, like, watching that game on the other side. Yep. And then as someone who is staying up and trying to watch this yep. and your team loses, is there anything worse? Like, it to get the, so No, there was nothing close. worse. Um, I had to watch... Stuart Skinner put his head down on the ice 
because he had he had air quote failed to stop that yeah. puck. And but he didn't. He didn't. No, it was not him. It was not his fault at all. It was uh, the three on the ice who were changing at the. Wrong oh, was time. it a bad change? It was a bad change, and it was a two on one. And I think it was Evan Bouchard who went like down on uh, to like stop it from crossing over. And they just, I mean, I literally felt there was a moment where I was sitting at my computer watching the game. The game had ended and I was still sitting just in complete and utter shock with my hands like (laughs) open, hoping that somehow this was just fake. Um, And you have to remember that this is an October game. (laughs) It's not the Stanley Cup Finals, but but at the same but, time, it hurt. It hurt so much. Um, like I just, it was so disappointing. And then I had to watch the Penguins mm-hmm. go to a shootout, and I was praying. Um, I don't know how a shootout works, by the way. This is the first shootout I've watched live. Remember, um, yeah. And the Flames I've, won. Yeah. And I. Decided that I hated hockey. <laughs> it, um, it's a love-hate relationship. We have moments of very good high highs and low this, lows. This, this for me, um, again, I do love the Oilers. Yeah. Um, a lot. Yeah. But the, as I was, I was explaining this tier list. Um, yeah. To Carter. And I was like, you don't understand. There's. You know, S tier, A tier, yeah, B tier, yeah. C tier, D tier. The pens are their own tier. Yeah. <laughs> they are. They own my heart and soul. They They're the S one plus team plus. that, like, I've become so attached to, like, all of the players that even when Sid and Gino and Tanger retire, I will still pro- follow the pens. Yeah. As opposed to, like, not to say that I won't follow the Oilers and the Bruins, too, but, like, I will probably, like, not it, as it's always going to be about, you know, not as it, it's, it, I'm a player first. Mm-hmm. team second yeah but pens are the exception like my penguins um penguins my penguins so to be the good news is we're on a four game losing streak sure, okay <laughs> um sid crosby great has, news this is great for me personally <laughs> great news sid, Cros- sid crosby has checked the fuck out um <laughs> great i news. mean like just fabulous um our baby goalie had to make 50 saves he did um, really well so that was 50 shots on goal and mm-hmm. he had a 0.92 save percentage. So I, so I watched last night's game cause you were busy. Um, I was busy. The one time I turned the game on, <laughs> okay, I was, we were at Applebee's, which by the way, we go to Applebee's because we wanted to get the $1 yeah. zombie drinks, which were pretty solid, honestly. Okay, and okay. It, we went late. So it was half off appetizers. So we just had appetizers for dinner. And like we go in and she's like, you know, he, he's like, follow me, follow me, sit down. Callie has to point out. She goes, isn't that hockey? (laughs) And you know how Applebee's, like, you know, they try to pretend to be your neighborhood bar. So they, like, put, and they kind of are, but they put, like, all your local sports teams all over the walls. And of this restaurant is mostly empty. Not completely, but everyone's pretty much at the bar. Yeah. Every other table is free, if not you know, 60% to 70% of the tables are free. And this man sat us at the one spot that is dead center to our AHL team. <laughs> like that's so dead. funny. I'm like, you can't I escape can't it. Escape you cannot it. escape I can't. it. I truly cannot escape it anywhere. Like I go out clubbing guy has a hockey Jersey on for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. There wasn't a game that day. There was nothing. This, I just, I can't escape it. But anyways, I turned the game on. Yeah. Uh, for a second, because we weren't doing anything for a second, and the offsides. Oh, was that goal? Happened. Yeah. And I will say that it was it, completely offsides. I um, I can admit when when the Oilers yeah, get a freebie. Admit, yeah, we can admit when we've like because I've done the same thing where yeah. I was like, oh, that shouldn't have been a that that sh- we should have gotten that yeah, you know yeah. or like I've I I've literally put like in when we're like live blogging and things like that where i'm like oh if i was the other team i'd be mad and it, to be fair to the oilers live blogs they were like if i was a penguin yeah fan, i would be molding <laughs> like i would be i did not but i was watching that and i was like Ugh. yeah no that yeah. shouldn't have counted i'm glad it counted sorry saint but uh it shouldn't I mean, it wouldn't have mattered anyways it like it's not like we were like Stuart skinner was doing good yes but we were just and apparently the report in the locker room i think i sent you the tweet did but like not good the report was that the 
<laughs> it was basically salty was the word that was used. Um, and oh, can I just point out I was right? Okay. <laughs> Guys, do you remember last episode when I went on a like four minute tangent about how you have to treat your players like cars and tune them up yes. and take care of them? Oh, yes. And Jari is not going to get traded He's he going needs to, to be, he, he just today, eight hours ago, was sent to uh, Wilkes Bar Scranton Penguins on a conditioning loan. What did I fucking say? Yeah. I'm always right, guys. Okay. Like, <laughs> listen to the person who's only been following hockey for less than a year. Yeah, yeah. Like, Absolutely. I'm right. I'm right. That's what's funny. <laughs> like, um, uh, but it's just one of those things where when, when I was growing up, and I need to put out a formal apology. This is going to be my, I'm going to make a, um, an apology video. Um, mm -hmm. I need to apologize to all of the sports fans that I roasted completely for letting their, the losses affect their mood because man, I get it now. Uh, when we, when Tuesday's game, when that loss happened, I was inconsolable that night. I was legitimately like, I'm going to bed. And I was in such a foul mood. I felt so bad. And then Wednesday I was in a, like, I did not get out of the foul mood at all until that evening when uh -huh. hockey started playing. And I was just like, I need to go back and apologize to my dad and my brother because growing up with them, I would just like dig it in and tease them like relentlessly when their teams lost, man, it doesn't feel good. Not yeah. great. Like, in the opposite, when everyone was winning two weeks ago, like all yeah. of our teams kept winning, and I was, it, it was a very short lived, short lived bout of happiness. joy. Um, yeah, uh, truly the highs and the lows of being a sports <laughs> But like, I was like, you know, it's so funny because work has been, you know, a yeah. fucking shit show because it's quarter four. Um, and so it was like, I, you know, was should have been miserable at work because it was just a fucking disaster. Yeah, and I was like, no, my team's won. I'm fine. <laughs> I even told my coworker. He's like, how how you doing? How you doing? And I was like, my hockey team won. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> and then now, I think one of the reasons why I haven't been watching, um, to say nothing of that, it's like at 10 p.m. Yeah, for me, yeah, and that's yeah. when I go to bed. Um, is like that. We just if can't. I know we're losing, I can't. I I'm not going to stay up two hours past my bedtime yeah. go to work sleep deprived and no we lost like to get invested in that it's not that i don't want to watch them play if it was like a saturday and i'm doing something else or i'm not staying up two hours past yeah, my yeah, bedtime yeah. to do it i'll watch it and just you know be a little bit sad like you know it's just it's one of those I, things it's gonna affect your mood it's it gonna is affect your it, mood. <laughs> my mental health is entirely <laughs> the Pittsburgh Penguins. <laughs> get into them in 2024 yeah. <laughs> you would have been you would have been the most insufferable human if you had gotten into them in 2017 if i had gotten into them ever before their downfall in the past like what three years two four, years maybe four, four years basically covid yeah, once yeah. that hit um anytime pre-covid um I would have been insufferable. Like yep. abs it, it it truly was the hockey gods saving everyone else <laughs> from me being the most obnoxious human being in the world. It, I, they had to humble me. They had to be like, listen, it you weren't here for the good you times. Go now you gotta build. be You gotta go through the build. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh... Well, I think Saint, mm -hmm. do you think that we have a sponsor today? I think we do. We might. Guys, we might have a sponsor. Uh, today's sponsor is Saint Astra, a Twitch streamer, cosplayer, and artist. You can support her by purchasing from her Etsy or subscribing on twitch.tv slash Saint Astra. Oh, well, every Saturday. You can come watch us play games. Uh, use your free Prime sub and get access to cute little emotes. St. Astro's Etsy also sells a variety of jewelry, decorations, and trinkets. Everything is handmade and crafted with the perfect balance of love and spite. All proceeds go directly to the St. Astro Dry Settle Jersey Fund. So Saint, mm -hmm. what the fuck is going on in Winnipeg? Um, so here's the thing. Yeah. If you recall, yeah, many moons ago, <laughs> many moons ago, 
we were making our playoff yes. bracket. Yeah. And we were like, what the fuck is up with the Jets? Because at the time, we were, they were like on a tear. Yes. And like, I, th- I, I think it's a case, I don't know how it'll be this year, but yeah. like last year to me, it was a case of they're really powerful. The teams that they're going against, what is the scores? Who have they played against, actually? Um, like, I have it. Hang on. Oh, they're going against the Flames. They're 7-0? and oh? that's, that's what I'm saying, Saint. What's thought, going I on? Thought was, I thought it was 6-0, and oh, nope. first of all. They won um, last night. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So that's what's going on with the Winnipeg Jets is they have they won um, their home opener against, against the, Oilers, the Oilers, which was which fucking devastating. Sucked. Six to zero. They won against Chicago's team, two to one overtime. They, they won, won against, against the Wild, wild two to one the overtime. Sharks. Uh Pens fucking sucked. Pens. Blues. Yep. Seattle the Blues. Kraken. They're playing the Flames so, tonight. What I'm feeling though is that they're not going against They are having an open like their first opening season is what the Oilers should have had. Because the Oilers are playing against some of the same teams. And yeah, like, I, not to say, because I do like the Kraken. Fuck the Blues. Um, fuck the Blues. And your gambling Sorry. advertisements. That, uh, that too, but also because you stole our boys. Because uh, you stole our boys, but fuck the Blues. Uh, and the Sharks, 8-3 to three is really painful. It's painful. Um, what the fuck? Uh, but, and the Wild have been solid this yeah, year. Yeah, they have. Um, that was the goalie goal, I think. Yeah, that was, it, that was the goalie goal, wasn't yeah, it? I, no, wasn't it, um... Who were they playing against? No, because it had to have been an empty net goal. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't that one. Um, but then, again, the Penguins did be really... Not shocking, Like, they're not playing... I'm not saying that these teams aren't good, because, like, the like all, that's the thing about hockey. You have teams that are, it's like, well, they're objectively bad, but then you also have, like, the Buffalo Sabres ass-whooping the Oilers twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one, once in overtime and then once again in overtime in the same day. Like, Aww. it just... You know, <laughs> but, like, it... Ha- you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's... Hockey is truly anyone's game yes. if you just get the right, you know, if you vibe check right or whatever. Vibe check, but also, like, sometimes it's just luck of the puck. Yeah, it, it truly is. Just sometimes there's some really bad, like, you know, the ice is shit or, like, it's just not one cooperating. Like, that one, was it? The, I think it was the Pens where we hit the crossbar and it Every flipped under. single time. Instead of over. Under, though. It, oh, it, we got that the one. It was, I think, during uh, our game six or game five whatever the one that we won yeah. um i think it was that one but it was one of those cases where it's like that could have gone up and it wouldn't have been a goal yeah it wouldn't have mattered you know so like, it, it was just because uh at the start of the season there were like four or five teams that were undefeated and it was like a good little stretch you know i think some seasons it's like they win one they lose one right off the bat everybody yeah you know what i mean but for them to go seven games without losing that's intense so then I was, and the flames were also really they doing were well they were they they lost to uh i don't remember who they lost to um kraken i think it was the kraken and yeah, it was an overtime loss but uh it you know was still really good um yeah. so it's just interesting to see uh the winnipeg jets holding on this long um, which got me curious, and I wanted to see what the rankings are so far. I'm going to ask you. Oh, yeah, standings. Who, oh, I won't click. Yeah. Uh, who is at the top of each standings, and who's at the bottom? We'll go from there. I truly, because I haven't been paying a huge uh-huh. amount of attention. Rangers have got to be up pretty. For, for uh, Are we going to go by division? We're going to go by conference? division. The first division is Eastern. Who is on top? At le- top of the Atlantic is the Panthers. Is It, it is the Panthers, is I was Panthers. going to say, because they did lose... They've a lost three. Games. They've lost three. They've won five and only okay. one OT. Uh, they're at 11 points right now, followed by the Sabres, the Lightning, Sins. The Sabres! I know. The Sabres have nine the Sabres points. Have well. They've I'm, done okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Um, Lightning at eight. Ottawa Senators at eight. Maple Leafs Ottawa, at eight. Ottawa, not surprising. Red They've Wings been do- at eight. solid. Bruins at seven. Canadians at five. Uh, Met. Metropolitan. Who is at the top? It is not Rangers. the Rangers. It's not it's the Rangers? Not the Rangers. Canes? No. Top of the Met is the Devils. Congratulations to the Devils. Oh, congrats to the Devils. I've been rooting for the Devils. I have too. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I've been rooting for them a little bit. I'm a contrarian bitch, okay? <laughs> I don't. Here's the thing. I'm 
legally i'm obligated to root for one new york team it is not as going to be the rangers no. it, for many reasons it's not going to be the islanders because i think they're boring and i think because they have no they fucked the penguins a couple times by kicking yeah. us out of the playoffs so not going to be the islanders so by default it has to be the sabers because rust belt cities stick sure, together sure so um but, but so then by as a contrarian i i i do like the devils you have because to go against it's the, the new jersey the devils Kings, in general the, Kings, the rags you have to go against the rags yeah. Um, so the Rangers yeah, are I, close. I'm, it is 11. So it's 12 points for the devils, uh, 11 for the Rangers, 11 for the Rangers. caps, okay. then the Canes Islanders, the pens are at seven points. And then we've got blue jackets and the flyers, um, at the top of central, we have the jets and jets are sitting on top of the entire league right now, as is no surprise. They're at 14 points followed by a star. And then the wild, which are tied, which good for the wild. Um, We're rooting for the wild. They've never like, they've never won a cup. You yeah. know, it's Mark Andre Fleury's, Fleury's last Fleury? year. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's Mark Andre Fleury's last year. Um, I'm rooting for him to just or that team just yeah. to do well. Yeah. You know, I, I hope they do well. Um, Colorado Avalanche is at eight points. They are struggling. Well, I sent I, you the yeah. the thing. Their long term, like, let's see what the injured list is. You know, right you now. know why they're struggling so much, Saint. And I told you this they have, earlier. They don't have the necklace. They don't have the amulet. <laughs> It's not healing their Is that players. What the penguins are not doing well. Either? No, they, they're, they're not got... injured. It's only works for injuries and against five G or whatever. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. Again, yeah. it doesn't even claim to heal against injuries. That's just Tavares. <laughs> he got a special amulet, guys. It's yeah, just it's his. just his special amulet. Not his doctor doing everything he can to help him. Yeah, not having the best sports medicine in the world. Yeah. So Colorado Avalanche. Um, uh, Nichushkin, sure. uh, injured reserve. Druin, injured reserve. Uh, Arturi Lukanen, uh, injured reserve. Lukanen, yeah. Tucker Pullman, Luk- uh, what is it? Lukanen, I think. Lukanen. Uh, injured reserve. Sean Bar- uh, Barron's out. Uh, yeah. Tucker Pullman, injured reserve. So I guess... Uh, they're just struggling. Oh, and, and their uh, goalie yeah, got- is not... It's kind of having the Jari effect. Well, and R- Ross Colton... Uh, couldn't return to their win over Utah on the 24th uh, or as of October 24th, because he took a slash to the hand in the second period. Ow. Yeah. You know, what's wild ESPN has the injury reports and they get some of their reports from uh, like newspaper reports. Wow. That's insane. like, it's not like official communication between, which I the, understand, like, you know, oh, I'm totally fine with yeah. it. Yeah. Ours only one is Kane. Barky is still out. I did forget about that. I did forget um, about that he's, too. He's week to week, I think. He's uh no, he's out out until oh. remember he it was the lower body injury. I didn't know he was out uh, out. Yeah, no, because it was what? Uh because last he I have? heard last I heard he was week to week. No, because remember it was when he crashed yes, into the it was leg. But what was it? I don't remember. Did they even they may not have even announced it. I don't think they would. And then it Chuck was. was also out because he, as people have said, he took a, he took time off to get engaged. Yeah. <laughs> um, Which move? Yeah, Bar- sure, do whatever Barky, you want. Barky is out, out until November 1st. Yikes. Yeah. Um, uh, but he's out. He's been out practicing heavily. Okay. But uh, not. Not playing, which is smart. Yeah. Um, um, and then we have the Preds who are sitting in a solid four points. Yikes. Down to the Preds, man. Didn't they spend bank? I remember, yeah. And I remember at the start of the season, you and I were like, maybe Preds are something that we should watch because they have a lot of good players, but it's like the chemistry is not there. Yeah, it's like, I don't, I don't know. Like something is um, just not in- meshing. And again, there's it's the beginning of the season, but as we learned with the Pens last yeah. year and the, the War of the Five Kings mm-hmm. version <laughs> of playoff spots where five teams in the East were all trying to compete for the wild card spot. It, these early games do matter. Yeah. Like you can't treat any game like, like they're not playoffs, but if you keep not getting at the very least get to OT. Yeah. Um, if you can't get to OT, then you need to get some fucking W's. Like yeah. you can't like right now with the pens. It's like, we cannot be on a four game losing streak this early when basically everybody's healthy yeah. for the most part. Like yeah. something is not, which the, uh, I haven't watched the interviews, but I saw the quotes from some of the interviews. Mm. And I guess Sid's response was like, when they were like, why isn't this working? He's like, I don't know. <sighs> um, which is not what you want to hear. From your um, captain, no. 
people are saying this is giving them shades of 2015. Um, and I do like Mike Sullivan, but I think he's lost the plot. I think he doesn't know how, how to get, to get the team out. back. I yeah. think it's the same thing with uh, the Bruins. They yeah, are. Yeah, they're struggling too. Montgomery yeah, uh, and they... Monty was yelling at Marshand, which I don't. I don't even know what what he was yelling about. About I know it was a penalty. Oh, it was. It was a. Uh, it was no. It wasn't. It was a turnover that led to them scoring. Oh, that's right. And the score, it was offsides. The goal was offsides, but it. He was. They didn't a determined that at the time and even if it hadn't been like even though it got brushed away yeah monty's still gonna let him have it because it was completely avoidable it yeah. was all on marshy um, marshy again i think he gets so much shit deservedly so uh but the fact is is that when they were questioned about it like you know people were saying like hey isn't it you know he's like screaming at you blah 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 and marshy's like yeah he should have been yeah and that's a, like that's a good up. player that's a good player yeah it's, I mean, it's that... the players that throw the hissy fits that you need to actually they're not going to learn how to be coached you know what i mean yeah and i i think marshy is struggling i think he's not some people are cutting him too much slack yeah and some people are not cutting him enough slack i think a lot of people are forgetting the man had multiple surgeries surgeries abdominal surgery yeah <laughs> like these were not little things ouchy surgery like to me i think hockey players push themselves into an early grave literally mm -hmm. but the, when you go through major surgeries typically you have to rest no that sounds and not fake. go play one of the most physically demanding sports that exists yeah. like hockey and water polo <laughs> like <laughs> water polo clears everyone but like hockey is it's pretty up there. It's fucking up there um, that there's a reason their shifts are we go oh my god he's been on the ice for two minutes yeah oh, yeah geez, <laughs> like, um, you know? and then we have the pacific where we have the flames sitting at the top i hope their downfall is oh, yeah. happy um they have 11 points tied with the fucking golden knights who i also hate um kings kraken canucks fuck you and then the ducks oilers and sharks i don't want to talk about it i'm ignoring the standings right now it's fine nothing it's so fine it's october it's fine. As long as we have points, we'll stay on the point board. Um, yeah. And who knows? Maybe we'll go on another 17-game winning streak. I don't see that happening. Um, but I think, yeah, I think they're starting to get their footing underneath them. Um, it's taken fucking long enough, but it'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. I'm not nervous. It's fine. It's October. It's October. So. Yep. And on the, we bought, I mean, we, I mean, I bought, uh, I bought tickets to go to Florida. Oh, for... okay. Because we're going to go. Yeah. To... Maybe Barky will be back by then. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Because it's February. God only knows. And then he gets hurt again. Um, and then the... Someone said the Bruins uh, Bruins need to lower their <laughs> tickets until they oh, start Oh, God. Again. Please. <laughs>
just because I like Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Um, but my the eyeshadow trick, like of wearing the specific eyeshadow. Yeah. Again, every it was like all of those rituals were for game five hundred and uh, the five hundred yes. game and only the game the five hundred game. For, so for because I wasn't wearing jerseys because we kept losing when I would wear my jersey yeah. I wouldn't wear my bracelet because we, well now that I'm on a four game losing streak none of it matters yeah. <laughs> like it's not my fault now so today I'm gonna wear my jersey I'm gonna wear my friendship bracelet and whatever happens happens yeah. because uh, it's not you know whatever now you get to start from the beginning yeah exactly um, so now I get to like um I haven't actually find new ones. I have not been doing my rituals, uh, which I don't know necessarily if it's because it's the start of the season. And I also just don't know what to do to get, you know, changes under the belt. But, Mm -hmm. um, I've also just not forgotten the games we're on because I've been watching them obviously, but it's like, uh, I don't want to go put my Jersey on (laughs) in the middle of a game. I did. such a pain. I did. Almost have a meltdown on Tuesday because I was watching the um, the game against the Canes and we were up two points and I was not following any sort of thing. I was just, you know, going about my nightly routine, watching games, trying to keep up with stuff that I was doing on the other end. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go uh, take a shower. It was like, yeah, it was the intermission between uh, period three and period two and period three. Mistake. Mistake, mistake, mistake. Because I got out of the shower and they had scored twice. And I was like, no, no, I've done this. I shouldn't have taken a shower. And I walked out of the bathroom and I looked at Austin and I was like, I shouldn't have taken a shower. And he's like, you have got to be kidding me. (laughs) It's 100% real because there was points last year where I was, because like I would, I have friends in the Penguins fandom, obviously. And we would like talk about we would be live blogging games and we would be sitting there messaging each other and i was like i have to take a shower for work and i can't yeah because we're winning if i take a shower and we lose it's my fault yeah like it unquestionably like my the fault. shower <laughs> will get done but it should probably not be done during the middle of a game you're washing yeah. off all of that clean energy unless we're and then if we're losing go take, a, take shower. a shower yeah it's, yeah it's, because then i need to wash the same but sometimes i want to wait to take the shower anyways yeah, because i'm like i don't need this bad vibe yeah. on my you know like so it really can be either way. <laughs> it was just, That's it's really... just, it's a matter of looking at it. Oh, did you see the Sabrina Carpenter curse? Yes. Okay. It's a hundred percent real. It's a hundred percent real. Can someone please send her a, I, a I don't know. The Jets can keep winning. The Rags like, jersey. Can, like, a Rags uh, jersey. The Jets, the Jets for jersey. We can go I ahead I don't think the Jets them. need it. We should, we should send it to them. I want, I don't want another candidate to win. Okay. You can have the Rags. Uh, I'll I'll take I'll the Canucks. I'll take the Canucks. But yeah, you'll take the Canucks. I was gonna say, what about <laughs> we need to get rid of the Vegas Golden Knights? Uh, uh. actually, um, there was an F1 driver, Yuki Tsunoda, who wore a Vegas Golden Knights jersey. I need him to never wear another hockey jersey ever again, unless it's the Oilers, because he didn't do well in his race. But the uh-huh. the the, the uh, Golden Knights won that night. And I'm like, no! motherfucker. So, so either he's got the good curse. She's either got the bad curse. he needs to like wear an Oilers real. jersey. <laughs> he's like you for real, for real. Uh, he either needs to wear an Oilers or Pens jersey, and she needs to wear uh, a Rags and Canucks jersey, and then we're fine. It's fine. Yeah, um, we have to. I'll send it to her and see. Honestly, she's the reason. Yeah. She's the reason that we wanted to do the um, rhinestones. Is... Yes, we saw those rhinestones, and it's all like it's I'm it. legitimately That's over. like it's over. I'm literally like, which jersey do I want a rhinestone? Do I get or do I get um like I so definitely for me it's got to be the hot bitch one yes. that we're gonna do. I'll do McJuicy. Uh, I do McJuicy. Yeah, so we'll we'll do McJuicy because I we still haven't they haven't released the alternate. I know. Yet, I don't think so. I, I was thinking about that the other day. I don't because like the. The Sabres have kept the goat head because it's the sickest fucking jersey yeah, yeah. in the league. That I honestly, next time I go to like in a, a Buffalo, I don't know if I'll go to a Buffalo or Sabres game ever, but next time I'm in Buffalo, I like go and see if I can get a jersey because I love that goat head jersey. Like I am, it's like how I want an Arizona Coyotes jersey. Yeah. Like, if, if it's a sick jersey, I just want that jersey because it's fucking sick. Yeah. You know what I mean? And as long as I don't hate the team. um, Yeah. Let me see. NHL alternate jerseys right now. I don't now. think they've been released. I think because some of them are staying the same. Yeah, right. Which you is know what fine. I mean? Sure. Like whatever. Third jerseys. I want because um the Dallas Stars one is cool. I like that one. Okay, that's the that's the neon. Yeah, the I do like that good. one. 
I know some people hate it. I fucking love it because it reminds me of uh, the Outlaws from yes. when we used to play Overwatch Houston. and we're in Overwatch League. Yeah. They're not. Yeah, I guess it's not. It'll probably be later in the season. I don't know if there's like yeah, an actual release. But like some of them do. Like the um, the Caps have their retro jersey. Yeah. <laughs> the Caps have their fine retro jersey. It's fine. Wait, let me see what the... What's, what, I, I'm trying to remember it. Oh, yeah. It's fine. It's, uh, some people really like it. Like, they think it's an S-tier jersey. Um, We will not be doing jersey rankings until all of yes. the alternates get released. We'll probably do, like, regular sweaters, the alternates. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that we, needs know. to be its own uh, thing. Yeah, we'll do... But, like, I, I think it's fine. It's fine. You know? It's fine. It's not... It's fine. A, it's fine. <laughs> I like black jerseys. I don't hate the logo. I just don't think the color gold with the color blue uh -huh. they picked go together. Yep. Yeah. Also, that's, I just really like their bird one. That. I like their bird. I yeah. like the bird. I, their logo, is, isn't it the shape has, uh, is the Capitol Hill? Thing? Yeah. Isn't that For cool? The, the wing? Yeah. Like, I love when logos have, like, actual thought. Like Easter eggs. Like, that's fucking sick. Yeah. Like, Not even Easter eggs, so, but just, like... Uh, nuances. Yeah, I don't like like the capitals like just the word capitals. It's fine. Yeah, but like I like their burp. Like it's it's fucking cool. I like that that logo. I think that they should be using that logo in their jerseys more yes. than they do the capitals because it's it's a sick sick fucking thing. Like speaking of not caring, I'll do my yellow eyeshadow so it matches my pen's jersey tonight. Because... Oh, because <laughs> they're playing the Canucks tonight, aren't they? Yeah, I'm so sorry. They are, which maybe, maybe, pieces. maybe then you'll be just as mad at the Canucks as I am. I mean, I it's not that I like the Canucks by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. Like, don't, don't even pretend. But it's, it's not just it's not that, my like, level of hate. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's like how I hate the rags yeah. is how you hate. I hate the rags for you. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. I have no. That's... I have no. Like, I have no thought of them otherwise. Yeah, you're not like viscerally I, angry you'll i mean i captain elbow up there Aww. like needs to captain that, elbow and then rimpy got sent down to the ahl again which this is week hysterical which like, he needs and he can't skate to save his life yeah i like and so, I, as somebody who can't skate to save her life he can't sa always, skate to save his life and i, I know yeah. one when i see one yeah like it's one of those words like i'm a disaster so i i also see yeah, a disaster, yeah, yeah. you know like you can't it, you know? It's not a bad thing. He's allowed to be sent to the AHL to get better. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I think everybody forgets the kid's a rookie, Yeah. first of all. Second of it's all... It's just that he's a fan um, favorite. And, the, yeah, it's just because he throws punches. And, like, he's a little delayed. And they can only afford to do that and, like, humor that with the fans for so long. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, And so there's nothing really wrong with it in any direction. It's like, you just have to... I think some people who are not... And that's not to say that I know anything about hockey. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. But not as some deep people really hockey. don't understand about how hockey mm -hmm. works, you know. And so, I think some people were Thinking upset as they're allowed to be, yeah. you know. Like, you get it. Like, I get I, it. I get it. Yeah, I'm not gonna I, judge people for being upset about how that goes. Yeah, I saw some people on TikTok of all places being saying that they were upset because they bought tickets to go see him specifically, and I'm like, yeah. you just you just like him. You don't like the actual sport, which I am not gonna gatekeep. I think it's fine because it will eventually. If lead... that's your thing, that's your thing. Yeah, and, right. and most likely it's gonna do what it did for us. Like I fell in love with Connor, and yeah. then fell in love with hockey. It's completely yeah. normal. Um, but I would never have bought tickets just to go see Connor. <laughs> like I fell in love with the Oilers eventually. Yeah, my thing is like we like we don't really care for the Panthers at all. Yeah, um, but we're I don't going to a them. game because it's hockey. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm like if if anyone said the there's a couple exceptions, but basically if someone says, "Hey, I got free tickets to insert hockey team here," yeah. I'm gonna say yes because yeah. I like the sport. You know, like it's not we're going to a Ducks game. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to see the Bruins play the Ducks. We Just still haven't because... bought tickets to see. I know. <laughs> we'll get Which there. Which is funny because we're, we're no longer in a good standing where, like, it used to be guaranteed that they were going to get an ass whooping or, like, yeah. close to Who's to say? And, again, I like a good hockey game. Mm -hmm. I think a stomp is boring. I do. Um, I think it'll be a good I like game. A good I, think, I think everything will be a good game that we're going to see this year. Yeah, I think the chances of it being, like, here's the thing. It, we're going at a good time because February, in my opinion, is not 
the best peak. time for hockey yeah. is March. Yeah. Uh, end of March, but like it's still when people will be doing playoff pushes and mm -hmm. like you know starting to get back after holidays. For, I think we're, we're going right before Four Nations actually, and then right but, after, and then right after. But like it's. I don't know. I like the other thing is we were smart and we're going to two Bruins games. Yes. So there's like a double chance of like, hey, can you idiots like pull yourself together? Did I tell you, I tell you that that's what happened? I sent Champ a, 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 a snap and it was a picture of the stars and the Bruins. And I like the stars. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. We love the stars. They're we fourth. do love the stars. They're fourth. In they're our... cool. Yeah. Yeah. They're cool. Um, But I did it and I, it was. The Bruins and the Stars were both on the ice, yeah. obviously, at the yeah. same time. But I took the Snapchat and I said, can these idiots fucking score? Yeah. And then the Stars scored. And I was like, I am an apostle of the hockey gods, <laughs> but the hockey gods are assholes. No. Like, that's <laughs> what this is. The hockey gods listen to me. They do. But they they monkey paw it every fucking time. I literally can't have shit. You know, because if speaking, I say anything... Speaking of rituals, this, this year is gonna... Or this week... On Halloween, it's a new moon, so we got to do some sort of cleanse because I do. Our team's got to do better. Yeah, so. I did that once for uh, when we first started watching hockey. It was like a new moon, and I was like, "Please let the Penguins win their next game," and they fucking did. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "I'm a witch." So I was just like, "Please, new moon, please Penguins, please." So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it yeah. goes. We need to clean. We need to cleanse. I thought that getting hit in the face would be like a blood sacrifice to the hockey Stop. gods and they did not give a fuck. So you're at, I guess it has it's to my be turn. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I think it has to be blood outside the body. Yeah. <laughs> no. You can't just have bruises. All I can think of is like, the, the, bru the bleeding is inside my body. That's where it's supposed to be. Oh my God. All right. Well, we're going to move on to sportsmanlike conduct. Saint, we didn't get a penalty today. We did pretty good. We really, today was a chill day. It I was. Think, uh, I think this week was hell and yeah every week. we got punished and, uh, enough we, did... we got punished enough in hockey and in real life yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right so Today. uh for those who don't know uh the hockey wheel is our um uh, sportsmanlike conduct is uh, the team that we spin for is going to be the team that we have to compliment and who are we going to get today? Please be a good team. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm, My vibes are a little bitchy, so I, it, it, it has to be. Or oh, I'm no. Be <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm going to fucking Kermit. Uh, this, <laughs> this week's, you, uh, who is it? Uh, uh, this week's um, complimented team is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, okay, I don't hate the Leafs. I don't you either. Know what I mean? They're okay. Here, here. If they're just fun to root against. Yeah. Like... So Maple Leafs, I really appreciate that you are the um, one of the most hateable teams in the league. <laughs> no, I don't even think that's the Shut right up. word. I don't even think that's the right word. You're just funny to make fun of, and I think that's because uh, we're Bruins fans. Um, I think they've got a really cool core four. Yeah. I think that's uh, you know, for for teams that. Like, we have duos and groupings like that. Um, yeah, like Penn's core is, yeah, you know, Penn's core is three. good. That's three. Uh, they've got, the Oilers have a good, air quote, core, but they don't work on the same, you know, the, the, the vibes aren't necessarily always there. I think the Toronto Maple Leafs have that deep core. And yeah. uh, what is it? Matthews, Marner, um, Nylander. Uh, who's the other one? <laughs> I can't remember off the top uh, of my head. I could look at the name list and go, yeah, that's part of the four. But I think that that's, I think it's really it's Mitch cool. Mitch Garner, Austin Matthews. William Nylander. Shit, now I gotta. I know. I guess it's Tavares is considered. Uh, yeah, it's considered Tavares okay. is the fourth. So, yeah, so those, those four, I think it's just really neat to, like, see them work really well together. Um, Especially because they've stayed together for so long. And their goaltender, isn't it Stolares? Isn't he doing really well this Stolares season? Stolares was, uh, he's he's moved, he, he's been a couple teams. Wasn't he a Panther? Maybe. It's, it's uh... Whoever their new goalie is, he's, he's kicking ass. He's doing really well. They've had, yeah, Stolares was uh, the backup goalie, I thought, for the Panthers before. I wouldn't be yeah, surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that didn't last he, year? I, I thought he just won the cup. Well, I'm, yeah, yeah, he always just, weird. Yeah, I was like, because he's when they pulled Bob, St Stellars went in. Yeah, that's right. So Listen, I was laughing. He was too actually. Hard. What's really funny is, um, he was uh in Oilers too. Oh, for, yeah. So he was uh Flyers for a while, 
Oilers, Ducks, and then uh, he literally was a Panthers for only 2023 to 2024, won the Cup. Good for him. And then, uh, yeah, he made his NHL playoff debut on Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals against the Edmonton Oilers. That was our comeback game. And then yep, he got traded yep. to, uh, or he wasn't traded, it was unrestricted free agency. Got it. Uh, to the Leafs. But uh, that's so. what I think. I think you guys have a really cool core. Um, I'm sorry that you're fun to hate against. I like that we get to roast you. I think the amulet's still the funniest piece of shit news that we've had this season. Um, yeah. Saying, what do you got? Your commitment to the bit of yeah. being not funny is really, it really, <laughs> like your fans are evil um, in so many ways. Not all of them, but some of them are just pure evil. Um, the fact that like, they're both messiahs and pariahs is yeah. very funny to me. And I do, leg- like, I'm I'm being mean, but also I do legitimately give people who play for the Toronto Maple Leafs a lot of credit. Yeah. Because I think you have to have a lot of psychological fortitude to deal with the, like, like the Oilers, Edmonton is like a hockey city. Yeah. Like, that's a, and they are very harsh. Um, But they also have a lot of love. Yeah. Um, I feel like Toronto is not that way. It's Edmonton. <laughs> like, Edmonton like is do have, tough And they do love. have fans that love them. But, like, I think that there's a lot of... I think that... I don't know. I just... The vibes I get, there are some really nice Leaf fans. And then it's just, like, there's also a lot of Leaf fans that would throw Mitch Marner into a hot that, burning yep. <laughs> if it meant that they would get one playoff win. Like, I just... You know? So I give the players a ton of credit to enter a market like that. Yeah. And because it is you know, not a easy thing to endure. There's a reason why some people will intentionally go from a team that, you know, where they can, you know, live in Boston or they can go to New York city and they want to play for a team where they can kind of disappear or that like the pressure may not be there as much as other Mm -hmm. teams. Um, so yeah, I do give their players a lot of credit for that. And again, it is also just very funny because they are committed to the bit in ways that other teams wishes they could. Yep. Like the hockey gods, they're just constantly, just constantly sitting on your this chest. This is our year. And then every year the gods yeah. are like, ha bet. Like, it's just so horrible and funny. <laughs> R.I.P. Leaves. Yeah, Great to R. have R. you. But you're I hope you team. make the playoffs so I hope... that the Bruins can kick you out. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Sorry, we supported the other team before we supported you. <laughs> All right. right. Well, that is going to wrap it up for tonight. Folks, we really appreciate you listening into all of our rants and ramblings, especially tonight. We were going on a tangent today. Yeah, we, this was a fucking wackadoo. <laughs> I hope you feel like you're sitting here. And just vibing. And just chilling. Yeah, I hope tonight was not an informative podcast. You needed a break after the <laughs> outpouring of information from last week. Uh, no. The Puck Witches podcast is released on Spotify and our YouTube channel. It's and you can absolutely join the Night Witch Discord via the link below to talk about the episodes directly, as well as enjoy our other channels. It's full of gaming, hobbies, and really good vibes. Uh, sometimes we record these episodes live on Twitch. Not tonight. Um, so make sure you're following us there if you want to support us on Twitch with a Twitch Prime um, on either or both of our channels. It's Champ Sissy or St. Astra. You can get access to cute little emos and extra channel points. You can prank us. If you enjoy this podcast, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode and follow us on Twitter for updates. And lastly, do not forget to support the St. Astro Dry Settle Jersey Fund by checking out Saints Etsy and subscribing on Twitch. Love you all.